Hi, you're very welcome again. Um, you're here with Anne Walsh of www.thexcelexpert.com where you can also download your free 25 best Excel shortcuts of the website. Today we're going to look at the min function or the function that identifies the lowest value in a list. Right. And again, as always, there's a file available down at the bottom of this blog post that you can download to practice on. Okay. So the first thing just to say is that um, we're here in Excel 2010, okay, but this also applies to Excel 2007, but not to Excel 2003. I go up to my home tab. Okay, um, I first of all begin by clicking where I want the answer to go and um, go to the home tab. And then over on the right hand side, I have my auto sum. And if I click up beside the auto sum, if you go down here to the end, you see there you have a thing that says min. Okay. Now, if you notice here, as always, and at this point, maybe this should be getting familiar to you. You see that Excel enters the function equals min, open bracket, C3 to C6. You see it has a little marching ants going around it. And this will identify as the lowest value in the list. So I just press enter. Right. Now, I'm just going to drag this across. Okay. Now, if you notice here, this is also 10. But let's say I change this to 7. All right. And you see there, this also changes to 7 as well. Um, and as with all these functions, once you enter the first one, all you have to do then is actually just copy it across. And that's maybe a key thing just to bear in mind when you're trying to learn Excel. Um, a key point is just to focus on getting the first one right and then copying it across or copying it down. Right. Now again, I hope you found this useful. And as always, the file will be underneath. We can download it and copy away to your heart's content. All right. Take care. Goodbye.